In his first season in China, Davy Claude Angen left a deep impression on Chinese people all over the country. Not for his play on the field at first, but for his complaints about the hot summer in Hangzhou. Most Chinese people have the idea that Africa is one of the hottest places on earth. But now perhaps they can say China is even hotter. You know why? Because uh, for Africa, the, the, uh, the temperature, the hot, they start like uh, maybe uh, 12 and finish like 4. My Chinese, they start 6, they finish 7, you know? That is different, and China is very, very hot. But Angen prefers to be remembered as a professional athlete, the main striker for Chinese Super League side Hangzhou Greentown. The Ivorian joined Greentown after the Chinese Lunar New Year back in February, with a transfer fee of 11 million RMB, which is about 1.8 million dollars. He is the most expensive player in Greentown history. Takeshi Okada was head coach at the time, but Greentown weren't playing well. So Greentown fans were looking forward to Angen strengthening the Hangzhou attack. Angen was the third highest scorer in the Norwegian domestic league the previous season, and at 26 years of age, in the prime of his career. And although China was a strange land to him, the African-born striker thought it was time for a change. I, because I stay in Norway long term, you know, and I want to change. About uh, I want to change uh, the league because uh, they know me from Norway. Then I I get uh, the off for China, and I think about. I say yeah, it's okay. I can come for China and try do my best too. You know, because someday it's me. I want to come here. But at the start of the season, Angen didn't play as well as fans expected. His shooting accuracy was off, and he wasted a number of very good opportunities. The, the things I know, I know I get uh, many chances, you know. And uh, I think score, if he, I score the all chance I get, I know I score more than five. And Angen did just that, scoring four goals over the last four games of the season, helping Hangzhou avoid relegation. He proved to the fans that his transfer fee was indeed worth it. Off the field, Angen is an introverted man, which is different from many African players. But after fitting into the side and becoming a local boy, he's brought a lot of joy to his teammates as well. Sometimes Chinese people are very quiet, so Angen will use some verbal or non-verbal communication to liven things up. Along with soccer, Angen has one other true love, his family. Spending time with his wife and two children is the most important thing to him besides playing the sport he loves. He always calls his wife after matches, and when he has a bad game, she helps him keep his head up. The time I go home, I disappoint and I talk, I, she says yes, no, get disappointed because every game is not the same, it's not every time you can play good. Sometimes you can play that, sometimes think about the next game, you know. Okada is no longer the head coach at Hangzhou. The Japanese manager was the one who recommended Angen to Greentown and appreciated his game. Will Okada's resignation affect Angen's performance next season? Angen says it won't. I don't give up. It's sometimes it's difficult, it's like that. It's football, sometimes you can do your best, sometimes you can be difficult, you know. It's like uh, no way before, I'm no way. Every time I score, I score, I score, and I'm okay. Now I come here and I just score. It's me now I have to work very hard and show my best again. He has one year remaining on his contract with Greentown. He says he'll finish the contract first, play his best, and then consider his future. Right now, he's looking forward to his second season in the CSL. Because this year I'm not locked I think maybe next year is working. Man, I want to stay here. Now I don't think about uh, what I want to. Now I think about Chinese. And for most soccer players, playing in Europe is the ultimate dream as well. And Angen is no different. Like maybe if I get chance again for go Europe, 
I did I played UEFA. Now I want to play Champions League, that is why. So I have to do good year and maybe good team they come and buy me. He will probably leave China one day. And when he does, he hopes he's remembered not just for his comments about the heat, but simply as a good soccer player.